Hello everybody, Hunter Bakes here, back at the review for y'all. Everybody here with the next video for Halloween such war with everybody. Alright, well, we're gonna be taking a little bit of a break with the reviews, everybody. And today's video is gonna be a first impressions video, everyone. Now, for those who haven't seen my first impression, my first impressions video, everyone, it's basically gonna be kind of giving my thoughts on, you know, first few weeks of a bit of a show and stuff like that there, but... However, this... Time the first impression of the video everybody is gonna be a little, little bit different as it is gonna be a continue with my first impression like continuation of a show I have for been reviewing here. That being the outlaws, everybody. Everybody, as you all know, it wasn't that long ago when I did my review for season two point five outhouse there. I did say we'd be doing a first impression video on the season three premiere when I had a chance to watch it here. Well everybody recently had a chance to view the season three premiere there. Um, Dizzy ended up uploading it on the Dizzy channel there, uh, YouTube channel there. <laughs> so, I was able to get to it there, despite not seeing the, you know, premiere on the Dizzy channel there, so, eh. So, I had time to watch, I made sure I had time to watch everybody. I already do a review for y'all. Sorry, sorry, my first impressions, everyone, sorry, what? <laughs> first impressions here. So, yeah, that's a like full overview there, but just kind of get my thoughts on the premiere and whatnot, so yeah. <laughs> But, anyways, everybody, as for what goes everybody, without going to major spoilers, everybody, um, for what happens in the episode in particular there, it pretty much picks up, starts out by picking up right where we left off, the season 2 finale there, where Luz, Amity, Willow, Gus, and Hunter end up going to the portal there, the portal door there, and there's such a human world there, and Luz trying to make it back to the portal door, but the portal door disappears there, it closes and whatnot, uh, then they eventually be able to lose his mother there. And, well... <laughs> well, good about the episode there is Luce and the others, you know, kind of get used to, you know, living the human world for a little bit there. But they do try to find a way to bring... to go back to the demon world there, to the boy Alex there and whatnot. Um, <laughs> and we see Amity and the other characters there try to find a way back there. Without Luce's help, since they know it's Luce been blaming herself a lot there for what happened to them and whatnot. And we do see Luce, you know, we do see Luce, you know, I said, she does, you know, go, you know, put a lot of blame herself on herself for what happened there and stuff like that. But, eh. We all. So, hey. Um, you got a number of different things that have happened to prepare everybody. So, yeah. But that's pretty much the, um, like I said, the, you know, summary of what goes down without going to major details of what out there, everybody, so yeah. Everybody, after seeing everybody, I thought it was a very strong start to the season three, everybody. Now, granted, everybody, it's a little bittersweet, everyone, as, um, like I said before there, um, you know, the, these next couple episodes will be the last ones for Alhouse there, as season three only got to cut to these. Three it, three episodes, and great they are long there, but still, you know, three episodes there to wrap up a whole series there, you know. So, you know, a full, you know, 21 episode pick up there, and about around three bits compared to the other season there. And it's going to be a little tricky for the writers to, you know, you know kind of wrap things up there without, yeah, you know, try, try, try to wrap things up there and stuff like that, you know. That being said, I, I enjoyed the premiere by it. I thought, was, I thought they did a pretty good job there. Um, now there are some, like I said, there are some criticisms by it, but I won't be too critical or by it. As like I said, the the creative team for Al House there kind of been put in a tough scenario there due to, you know, things out of their hands there. Like I said, it was Dizzy's decision to cut the season short there and whatnot. So, yeah. Before we got there, I thought it was a strong start to the last couple of episodes there. Um, Thought there was a pretty good development with different characters there. Um, I got, I was curious to see how things were going there, and they did not disappoint there. I thought they did a pretty good job following up what happened in season two there, as well as you know, having the characters get used to seeing the human world and whatnot there, while also trying to find a way back and stuff like that there, you know. And but like I said, without going to major spoilers, everybody, Bellows does. Survive the events of the season two finale, everybody. Like I said, we'll go into details there, but he does it survive there. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
And that it and the ending for the episode are definitely a definitely a bit of a definitely one of the set one of the Saturday eggs there for episode Al Hauser by you know. Uh, it's bittersweet there as, you know I say like I said, I'm trying my best not to go into too major details here, try to keep this as spoiler free as possible, everybody, but definitely a bittersweet there, but there was definitely a sad part to it there, whatnot. So, but for those who already see the episode, you know what you want to talk about there, so yeah. But we did also get a good number of lighthearted moments as well there. I really like the humor there. Al has already did a pretty good job with its humor there. And this was a no exception, so. <laughs> and everybody, the animation was done very well there, especially the animation for that final fight scene there at the end, so. <laughs> definitely one, definitely up, uh, you know, one of the best well animated fight scenes in the show there, so. <laughs> We'll just say a lot there, considering that Al House, you know, when it comes to the action scenes there, they always do a very good job with the animation there and so that. For their fight scenes, so yeah. I also did like how Luce's mom kept, you know, had a chance to finally, like, you know, did, or say yes to what Luce had been dealing with there, you know. So that, you know. That, you know yeah, yeah. And uh, we saw Charles DeVille with her character there and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> See. Well, we're by a lot of really good things that happened during this premiere by Charles start to the last couple of episodes one. But like I said, well, there are some criticisms there by, um, we'll bring up, like I said, nothing major there. Like I said, the creative team were kind of put a d tough predicament there due to Dizzy cutting the season short there and whatnot. But because of that there, you know, there were, I feel like there were definitely some things that, you know, the writers wanted to tell more there, but we didn't necessarily have enough time to get flushed out there. Um, for example, everybody, you know, a lot, you know, well, we do see the characters do different things there in the human world there and whatnot. Uh, a lot of it is through montages there and whatnot. I thought it would be a little nice to see them have a little bit more, you know. Do more stuff in the human world there and whatnot. Um, uh, especially Gus's case there, since you know he's been he's he's been kind of like the big fan boy of the human world there and whatnot. There have big fascination with throughout there there so that so yeah. And we did see a little bits of you know stuff with Luce's father there as one of the episodes of season two everybody um, Luce it was a beat herself there but. Yeah, because you know, her and her mother end up doing a special case, doing a special occasion there. You know, so they get there, but also all their dads buried there. You know, because of the you know, they haven't. This one, it's like this one. What episode happened to season two? Everybody, um, where you know, her and the mom usually you know go out to their father's grave, to her father's grave there, so that their daughter is buried there. It's been digging the areas of that there, so yeah. And we did get to learn more about Luce's father there. There's so there, which I did like there, which I did like there. You know, that was nice there. Um, but we didn't get a whole lot of it there. Um, I thought the writers wanted to tell a little bit more there, but um, due to the you know, you know, have you know having you know all this be having certain episodes left there, they only tell so much there. Can't really go into too much of the detail about different things there. Uh, with the stuff about Luce's dad. Or what it was like there when he was around there. So I had to beat one of them. So yeah. But those are my criticisms. Are by an overall very strong premiere for season 3 or by. I am definitely looking forward to see the next episode one. However, what it is going to be quite a while. As I have heard that the last couple of episodes won't be coming out till sometime in 2023. So... But the uh, uh, the creative team for Real House there have done a very good job, you know, make a very enjoyable show there with Sherlock has characters there, engaging story there. I'm confident that they'll have a Sherlock finale for the series there, so I'm definitely looking forward to what's going to happen with the last couple of episodes there. So yeah, so everybody, that's pretty much wrap things up for my first impressions. Everybody for the season three premiere of Real House there. If y'all haven't seen it yet, there recommend you do so. 
I said it's available on the Disney Channel YouTube channel there. If you didn't miss the premiere there. If you didn't see the premiere there. So, that, so yeah. Well, everybody, that pretty much runs things up for this video, everybody. For Halloween, Social Brother, by Next time, everybody, we'll be going back into the reviews, everyone. As next time, everyone, I will be wrapping up the look through of the film adaptations of Stephen King's It there. As I will be reviewing the sequel to It 2017, that'd be It Chapter 2. So make sure I'll see to that. But until then, that was up for now, everyone. If you like saw here, make sure you like the button. Do shell subscribe and bell notification icon so you miss every uploads. I'll see you all next time. That's our big sale. Peace.